Last week, I sent out a message to the entire campus community. I thought I would do the same this week, and perhaps every week while this crisis is ongoing. You know, certainly we're in an unprecedented time. But you know, I was thinking about this, and there are just some things that we can't control and some things that we can't control. And maybe we should be focusing more on the things that we can control, both from a public health perspective as well as a personal well-being perspective. On a public health level, there are really only two things that we can really do to make sure that we are improving the, the health of the community in this time. One is social distancing, which we are all trying to do the best we can. And the second is more testing for the coronavirus. And in that regard, I am just so proud of the mobile testing facilities that we've been able to stand up, both through the efforts of uh, UPG, the, uh, the faculty practice group, as well as Access in Dearborn. They've been testing first responders and offering a, a tremendous service to the community and will continue to test more with the coming weeks. On a personal level, again, it, it has been hard staying indoors, although it's very important as I've already mentioned. I think that we should look at some of the positive things that we can, if we can. For example, I've had an opportunity to do things over the past couple weeks that I just haven't had time to do in years. Things that I keep saying that I'm going to do, but the day-to-day -day work just keeps me from being able to get to it. Certainly, my work days have been just as busy as previously, but because I'm not traveling and because I don't have a lot of evening engagements anymore during this time, I've been able to do other things which are actually kind of fun. One, I'm on my third book. I'm almost done with it. The last book was about Charles Freer. It's called uh, West Meets East, and it's about the art collection that Charles Freer put together of Eastern art. And it's of, uh, of relevance to Wayne State because we have the Freer House right on the uh, corner of Woodward and um, I can't remember the other, the other uh, street right now, but right next to the, uh, the Hecker Mansion. So uh, I, I wanted to learn more about Freer, and it was a fascinating book. The book I'm reading now is about Black Detroit, and it's called Black Detroit, and it's about the history of the African-American migration from the South to Detroit and all the uh, issues that have happened over the past century that have made Detroit the city it is now. Fascinating uh, read. The second thing that I've been able to do, which I just haven't had time very much, is connect more with my wife, Jacqueline. We're able to catch up on some movies and we're able to uh, uh, cook together. Uh, things that we just haven't had time to do in the last couple of years. We just usually have time to just run around and get a takeout or go to one event or another. Uh, and, and so it's been kind of nice to be able to just step, take a step back and uh, do some of these other things. I must say that I've spoken to my uh, kids, well, they're adult kids, uh, Yoshio and Presley, more over the past week or two than perhaps over the past year. Uh, particularly my daughter Presley. She's actually calling me these days. So that's uh, also been, been very nice. And then finally, I'm actually thinking about doing something that I've thought about for, I don't know, for years now, and was thinking I may do after I retire, but I've got a little bit of time now, so maybe I'll get started on a book. And then the final message I wanna give is that last week I thanked the First, the, the healthcare providers out on the front lines. They're doing a heroic job. But I also, this week, want to recognize our public safety officers who are coming in, continuing to keep the campus safe, continue to put themselves at risk in a lot of different situations 
which um, is just uh, something that is underappreciated perhaps, but I really want to make sure that they know that all of us appreciate their efforts. So as we brace for another challenging week, which I think it will be next week, let's continue to focus on the things that we can do to make a difference, both from a public health perspective as well as a personal well-being perspective. Warrior Strong.